Trapped Warrior Bracelet. This bracelet is two-sided, so you can wear it this way or this way. Your arrow should be pointing away from you. You're going to take the color you want for the border and place a band from here to here and then a band from here to here. Now you're going to go up almost to the end of the loom. You're, gonna, you're not going to place the last band from here to here. You're going to place it diagonally from here to here. You're going to do the same on the other side. Again, the last band is not being placed from here to here, but from here to here. Now you're going to be creating the inside part, this part here. You're going to take your first color and you're going to place it diagonally from this peg to this peg. Then from this peg to this peg. Then you're going to place it up from this peg to this peg. You're only doing it at the beginning of the bracelet. Now you take a band and you place it across from this peg to this peg. Now you take your last color, place it up from this peg to this peg, and from this peg to this peg. This is what it should look like. Now you're going to start at this peg here, place the band diagonally from here to here, and from here to here. You are not placing a band up from here to here. Now you're going to, again, going to place a band from this peg to this peg. And go up from this peg to this peg. And from this peg to this peg. You continue this all the way down the loom. Again, you're starting at this peg here. Placing a band from here to here. And from here to here. And then you're going to place a band across from here to here and place bands diagonally up from here to here and from here to here. you're going to be placing are again diagonally from here to here and from here to here. Now you're going to be placing a capping band on this pin here. So you're going to, sorry pig, you're going to take a band, make a figure eight shape and double it over on itself. 
Okay, now place it on that peg, on this peg here. Now we're going to start hooking. You're going to turn it, your loom around so the arrow is pointing towards you. You're going to push back the capping band and grab the top band and loop it diagonally. Okay, and you're pushing back the capping band, grabbing the top band and looping it diagonally. Now you're going to Take this, whoops, take this blue band here, whatever color is across, you're going to loop one side to this peg and the other side to that peg. Now you have nowhere, you can't really loop this band that easily, so you're going to loop these two, you're going to push back the capping band, grab the top band and loop it to the side. You're doing this on both sides. Now, you're going to push back these bands and grab the pink one or whatever band's going to go that way. And you loop it diagonally like that. You do that on the other side. Your loom should look like this. Now you're going to push back all these bands. Grab the top green one. You're going to loop it out diagonally like that. Now you're going to push it back, grab the other green one, whoops, it can be a little tricky, and loop it diagonally. Now you're going to push back these bands here, grab the blue band, or whatever color is going across, loop it onto this peg here, and do that on the same side. So as you can see, it's just like the warrior, but it has a border. Now you're going to push back these green bands. Grab the pink band. You're going to loop that diagonally. You're doing the same on both sides. So you just repeat this pattern all the way down the loop. And you're pushing back all these bands, grabbing the top green one, looping it diagonally. Grabbing the other green one, looping it diagonally. Then grabbing the blue one, or whatever color is going across looping that onto this peg here on both sides. And then looping the pink ones or whatever colors are going diagonally this way. Up like that. Again, you're pushing back the, these bands here, grabbing the top green one, looping that diagonally. Doing that same thing with the other green one. Looping the blue one or whatever color is going across on this side onto this peg here. Same on the other side. And then looping the pink band so whatever color is going diagonally this way out like that. Once you get to the end, you're going to do it a bit differently. You're going to loop the one that's going across the same way, but then once you get to the pink bands, or whichever ones you 
that are going diagonally this way, you should have a band right here going up. You're going to loop that first. So pushing back all these bands, grabbing the bottom one and looping it forward. Then you can loop these pink ones or whatever color you have going diagonally that way. It, your loom should look like this. Now we are going to be looping the border. You're, since you've already looped these two bands here, you're going to just push back these bands, grab the bottom purple one or whatever color your border is. You're just going to loop it forward so you're going straight all the way down the loom. Once you get to the end here, you're going to push back the bottom band and loop the last band diagonally. You do the same on the other side. extension, push your hook through all these bands, stick it out to the side, making sure it's through all of the bands. Take this purple band or whatever color you want for your extension and pull it through like that. Put both ends of this band on your gripper. Now you can take it off. I suggest you do the sides first so nothing gets pulled and stripped. Now you can take these three bands off and just pull it off in the middle. It should look like this. Now you're going to be making the extension. To fit a kid's wrist, I suggest you do about six or seven bands long. You're just going to go straight with the arrow pointing away from you. You're just going to go straight up about six. Now you take this band on your off your gripper and place it on this last peg here. Now you turn your loom around so the arrow is pointing towards you. Just hook straight up. Now you're going to take this last band, stretch it out, and put a C-clip on it. Then you can take it off and attach it to the other side. There you have your two-sided trapped warrior bracelet. So again, you can wear it both ways. Thanks for watching.